Hey, have you seen uh, Jim Cho's cover for Axis? Oh, wow, there's so many villains. Oh, it must be so fun to be evil. Hmm. Oh, hey, Lauren. Hey, is there any coffee left? Hey, Ben. Hey, best friend. Ah, uh, maybe not. You know, some things are just too evil. Hello, Marvelites. I'm Lorraine Sink, and you are watching The Watcher. Coming this fall, villains are coming to the forefront with access by Rick Remender. So it's time we went straight to the source of this major Marvel Universe shakeup. Executive Editor Tom Brevoort. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Sure. Now, we've all just seen the cover of Axis, and there are a lot of villains. There are. Yeah. As many as more than four. So, in particular, we see a very Red Skull onslaught. Yes, indeed. And we saw that uh, a future glimpse of that at the end of Uncanny Avengers 4 now, oh, so many years ago. Speaking of Uncanny Avengers, we have Rick Remender on the title. Are we going to see some Uncanny Avengers? We know we have X-Men and Avengers because that's also on the cover. There, uh, there will be both X-Men and Avengers. Uh, it will grow, Axis will grow out of uh, things that have been percolating in Uncanny Avengers for this whole time. Rick will be at the forefront of it. Well, we do know that we're going to see Doom and, of course, Red Skull Onslaught, yep. as well as Carnage. We have a lot of bad guys, and it looks like they might be coming together, maybe. Well, they, they at least posed for a very lovely portrait, which, you know, if you're a villain and you have a secret headquarters, you kind of want one of those. Oh, something for the ages to look back on. Exactly, exactly. Is this event going to be a really big event? Is this going to be something that we're going to feel repercussions of as time goes on? This is a big, uh, it's a big Marvel Universe event. Uh, it'll have immediate impact on other titles in the, in the line. Um, it'll, it'll definitely have aftershocks and uh, consequences that will uh, move out ahead. Uh, and the build up to it starts uh, pretty much now. Uh, mostly in and around the books that uh, Rick is writing, uh, Uncanny Avengers and Captain America, but also in one or two mysterious places that people may not even realize that they're seeing head towards Axis, but they are. And soon the pattern will reveal itself. So you just have to like follow the web and eventually all will be revealed. Exactly. So, so easy guys, just read everything and then you'll just know what's read happening. everything. I know a lot of this information is still on lockdown because we're keeping it it's still, secret. It's still early, early days. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, not until, I can say this, not until October will we get to uh, access proper. Okay. But uh, it, will, it will start in October. Stick around and look out for more access in October. October. Don't miss Axis coming this fall, and tell me what you think about it down below. And now it's time for the Marvel Minute, where I give you 60 seconds of the biggest news flying out of the Marvel Universe. Have you been utilizing your Marvel AR app? Don't forget to scan the AR codes in your comics for exclusive behind-the-scenes content, Easter eggs, and augmented reality. And when you scan the AR content in the first four issues of Amazing Spider-Man by Dan Slott and Umberto Ramos, now you will be able to actually interact with the panels you love so well. You'll have to see it to believe it. Marvel Knights Animation bring your favorite comics to life. And now Jason Aaron and Ron Garney's Wolverine Weapon X Tomorrow Dies Today gets the animated treatment. Don't miss the brutal clash between Wolverine and your favorite evil cyborg, Deathlock, as they face off in deadly battle. Now available on DVD. Tons of fantastic comics hit stacks this week. Amp up for Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy to hit theaters this summer with Guardians of the Galaxy Prelude No. 2 by Dan Abnett and Andy Lanning. Attend the Watcher's Funeral as Mighty Avengers No. 10 by Greg Land and Al Ewing crosses over with the mega event Original Sin. Get a dose of Thanos big enough to last a year with Thanos Annual No. 1 by original Thanos creator Jim Starlin with art by Ron Lim. Are you ready for Wolverine and Deathlock to duke it out or for Spidey to augment reality on your mobile device? Tell me down below and I'll see you next time, True Believers. I'm Lorraine Singh for Marvel, your universe.
Marvel, your universe.